The Gathering is the latest Lisa Stone book that I've read. This was actually released in 2023 and it's published by HarperCollins. And I generally really enjoyed it. Of all of the Lisa Stone books that I've read, I'd say the narrative is really compelling, but the writing style isn't as good. It's a little bit juvenile in places, but that's my only real point of criticism. It does feel a little bit amateur at times. Not all of it, but there are times when... It could definitely do with a good edit. But the grammar is absolutely fine. It's more just about the word choice, the dialogue, and a a little bit of the information that's provided definitely feels unnecessary. It could do with a tidy up. But beyond that, it's a really compelling narrative. It's about this group of friends who all gather for a reunion. They were high school friends and they meet at this church that's been turned into accommodation. And while they're there, strange things start to happen. And they have hallucinations and other peculiar things. I don't want to say too much about what happens, but I was certainly very curious. And part of me had worked out who was responsible for it. I thought it was exceptionally obvious, but I didn't work out how they were doing it or indeed why they were doing it. The why is still a little bit questionable, but the how definitely didn't ever occur to me. So while part of it is definitely predictable, it didn't give away so much that I felt like it was pointless reading it. I still wanted to keep reading it to find out what was going on. We also have a narrative running alongside this about uh, an individual who is nicknamed Chanel Woman. And she is this female who is committing a series of robberies in the area while wearing the scent Chanel number no. five. That's where the you know the media have given her this nickname. And it was very unclear to me what her connection was. I did read a few reviews online after after finishing this and a, a, at least one or two reviews said that her her role in this was really obvious. And if you read it and that's the case, that's absolutely fine. But for me personally, I didn't think it was obvious. I didn't work out who she was or indeed what was going on until basically it was revealed in the novel. So I'm really pleased about that part of it. And everything does tie together really well because the stories seem really separate and it took a long time for me to realise why we were being told these two separate stories. And I and I like that. I like that it kept the suspense for quite a good portion of the narrative. And I don't want to say anything else about the story because I did really enjoy the narrative. It was a little slow. I'd say it took me a good, I don't know, maybe 50 pages to get into it. So if you've started reading it and gave up really early on, I'd say go back and push on a little bit longer because it does become really interesting. The characters are all generally really good. I feel like some of the character writing is, again, a little bit juvenile, mostly with their dialogue and the way the characters are presented. But it's not enough to affect my overall enjoyment of the story. The only other point of criticism is that the ending is exceptionally rushed. Very, very rushed. But I enjoyed the bulk of the narrative that I didn't mind too much. I got answers to all of the questions that I had. And I think that's the main thing because there is nothing worse, at least in my opinion, of reading a book and then having an open end. I just do not like open-ended narratives because I want answers. And I I got all the answers to all of the questions. So ultimately not too bad. It is probably, as I said, one of the weakest Lisa Stone books in terms of the writing quality. But in terms of the narrative, it was really fascinating and I really enjoyed it. So if you've read any other Lisa Stone books, definitely give it a go. If you've never read any Lisa Stone, I'd say don't make it your introduction. Or indeed, if you've read any Kathy Glass books and you're looking to read a Lisa Stone book, I'd say don't make it the first one that you read because it might affect your your willingness to read any of the others. But if you've read any of the others and you've enjoyed them, absolutely give The Gathering a go. Apart from a few things that definitely could have done with a decent edit it's a it's a well-written narrative and I rather enjoyed it and I'm generally happy to recommend it